Hi guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So we've received some peripherals for your Evercade EXP and Super Pockets today from Pernstar and they are pretty much designed to try and make your gameplay experience a little bit more comfortable. Thanks again to Pernstar for sending these for review purposes. Um, the thoughts in this video are entirely my own uh, and this video was not sent to them prior to submitting to YouTube. Um, so we're going to have a look at these devices and peripherals uh, and we'll give you my thoughts and if they are actually worth buying. Some interesting stuff here, so let's take a look. Okay, let's look at the first device. Um, this is the Ever Tate or Ever Tate. Um, it's in carbon black. Um, it's very nice uh, material that it's made from. It's quite grippy. Um, obviously it's quite hollow, but it's very, very grippy. And this is carbon black. Very cool. See the logos on the back of Pernstar. So this is obviously designed for your Evercade EXP. Um, I guess probably more so the Founders Edition, but obviously there's no reason why you can't use the standard white version. Um, and it's designed to help make those games in Tate mode a little bit more comfortable to play. Because as you know, playing the games in Tate mode it certainly is a bit sore holding it up for lengthy periods of time playing some of those games. So let's have a look. See, does this make it any better? Let's check it. Okay, so you obviously get your EXP and you basically just insert the EXP gently into the device as that. And then you use that to um, hold the, the device in place. And it certainly does feel very comfortable. And there's no doubt about it. It definitely feels better than just holding the EXP as it is. Uh, when you're playing the games. Um, but yeah, let's have a quick bash at one of the Tati Mode style games on Capcom. There's no doubt about it, it definitely feels very comfortable to hold. Doesn't necessarily make it uh, feel any less heavy, I guess, but it definitely, for me, feels better. Um, I've only really got one issue and it's really down to the button placement. I feel as if I'm going to end up with uh, sort of thumb fatigue more than hand fatigue um, holding the device. And when I'm, I say that, what I mean is this part here, I feel as if I'm reaching for this button here a little bit uh, more. I would I actually wouldn't mind seeing a little groove here so you can fit your thumb in. And so it just sits directly on the button rather than reaching down to get the button. Um, I think ideally some sort of groove would certainly make this device really cool. So I have to say, I think this device is actually pretty decent. It certainly makes playing those Tate mode games a lot more comfortable than without it. Although I would certainly like to see a little groove here to maybe make it more comfortable on your thumb. Um, so it's a bit of a balance where sore hands or a sore thumb. Um, but it certainly is a nice enough device and it does work to an extent. Okay, the next um, device we're going to be looking at, this is the Ergocade, which is basically a grip for your Evercade EXP. Um, there's the sort of name on the back, Ergocade. And again, it's made from pretty much the same materials as the last device. Um, it's very nice. Again, this is carbon black. It feels really solid, nice and grippy. And the idea is to put your uh, device on here to make it a little bit more comfortable and easier to grip whilst playing um, on your Evercade EXP. Now, obviously, it's, it's coloured black, um, so it's probably better for your uh, Founders Edition if you have one, but it would certainly be fine for the white version as well. So you basically slide your um, Evercade EXP on here. Now don't worry about um, sort of damaging your device. You can see there's cushions on each side just to make sure you don't actually damage the EXP when you're putting it in place. So you just slide the EXP into place like that. Pretty straightforward. And it does actually feel really comfortable. Now I think this is the one I looked at and thought I didn't really see the point of it. But actually um, sort of using it in place, it certainly seems to make sense to me. Um, that's obviously not a Tati mode style game. Um, yeah, and you can still obviously reach all the buttons down below. The spaces for um, charge and the rest of it, and up the top as well. It's exactly the same. Um, and then if we turn it over a little bit. So, yeah, absolutely fine. And I have to say, this one definitely surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be um, really of much use, but I find it quite comfortable to actually hold. It's certainly easy enough to put your hands like this. Um, and sort of play your games. Now I don't really think this is going to be for everyone. I think if you've got larger hands it will certainly um, be quite cool to use this and it seems, it definitely feels very comfortable to use. So this one certainly did surprise me. I wasn't expecting much from it at all um, but I think it's actually really really cool. Um, not sure if I would continually use it all the time but there's no doubt it is very comfortable and it certainly gives a better grip on the EXP. Is it practical? Not really sure. 
and would you pull it out and use it all the time again not entirely sure but it certainly does feel really nice and if you sort of struggle you've got bigger hands maybe it will certainly um, be more comfortable to use rather than as normal but yeah and have to say this game wow absolutely superb I love it no idea what's going on here <laughs> death Okay, next up we're going to be looking at the pocket grip um, and they come in three different um, sort of colours. We've got the one for the blue, Super Pocket the Capcom version and the Taito and we've even got a plain uh, carbon black version. And they're all pretty much uh, made from the similar materials and they're certainly very grippy. And that's certainly something that seems pretty apparent about these devices. They're nice and grippy, they have that kind of a nice feel to them. Um, and they're not massively heavy, they are pretty light given uh, the materials they're actually made from and you can see there's cushioned inside here too make sure you don't damage your device in any way and um, put them in and out um, and I guess obviously these are designed for the super pockets um, but are they practical? Will it make some of the games easier to reach? I think they're being designed to maybe reach those um, sort of shoulder buttons a lot easier on the, so uh, the super pockets because some games are just unplayable given the fact it's really difficult to reach round and touch onto those shoulder buttons Okay, so let's have a look at the Capcom version um, and slide it in nicely. And see the colour is actually pretty nice, it matches pretty well. Plenty of gaps at the bottom to make sure you can still charge the device. So you can see it certainly seems nice, but does it actually help reaching those shoulder buttons? I think it certainly seems to me that you can reach them better um, and it feels nice, but is this practical? I'm not really sure. Obviously these units are designed to fit in your pocket, so it's not like you're going to be taking this about with you as well. That doesn't really, it sort of defeats the purpose for me. Um, but it certainly does help reaching those shoulder buttons to play some of those games. For instance, looking at maybe even Street Fighter to reach those sort of heavy hitter moves, it seems to help. Let's have a quick look and bash at the game. So previously playing this game, it certainly is pretty tough because trying to reach those shoulder buttons for the heavy moves, I think it's R2 and R1 round there, it is really tough. But it's still going to be a tough game regardless, but I think it certainly makes it more comfortable to just rest your fingers on them like that. Is it practical? Probably not, but um, if you want to play these games and you're more pretty serious about them, it does actually help. But this game is still going to be tough no matter how you play it. Now another game I wanted to test was Forgotten Worlds because that game is absolutely unplayable. Um, throughout the game and it's okay just maybe pressing up the button once or twice but you really need to utilize those shoulder buttons quite heavily in this game so those shoulder buttons help maneuver your fighter so that you can obviously control your directional fire when you're playing the game um, and it's pretty important so you are heavy relying on these buttons and um, without this grip practically unplayable but with the grip it certainly makes things a little bit easier still not amazing but i'd say it's certainly more playable than without so there's no doubt I would say this does help reach those buttons a little bit better than without um, the grip but it's still not perfect, I feel as if I'm still stretching a little bit to get to these uh, buttons but again, without it's unplayable, with it's just about playable. So we've also got the black version here um, and it fits in just the same as the other ones and certainly feels really nice. Um, but is it practical for all games? Probably not, I don't think it, you would be using this all the time but maybe if you're using uh, or playing games that utilise those shoulder buttons it certainly makes the games a little bit more playable than they were before Now also we've got the um, Taito version, um, the green version that actually the colour matches up perfectly well you can see here it's a nice fit, the colours pretty much blend um, and I certainly think this is probably my favourite of the, the three of them um, it seems to be a really nice fit but again is it practical? Probably not. It's really only for uh, those games you struggle with those shoulder buttons. It does seem to help um, a little bit, um, I guess. And if you've got big hands, it might actually help you play these devices a lot easier than without. Okay guys, going to look at the Ever Blank. This is pretty much a designed blank cartridge to put into the back of your Super Pockets or your Evercade EXPs. This is just a prototype at present. Um, there is actually also a gold version which looks nice and shiny um, but they're still prototypes, they're not on sale as yet but these will appear on the store at some point uh, on the Pernstar uh, website but they are pretty nice, let's have a look at them in the Founders Edition so there's no doubt about it that this looks very nice um, I think there'll be a lot of interest in this for sure a lot of people have certainly been asking for the blank cartridges to put into their devices 
and this is a nice fit indeed. Um, hopefully there'll be some more colours available at some point. Um, it'd be good to get a nice white one for the Evercade EXP standard and maybe a few other different colours as well which would be nice. But yeah, really nice. I like this one. And finally guys, we're going to be looking at the Evercase and this is pretty much made from the same materials as the other peripherals um, and it's basically a stand to put your Evercade cartridges on um, and it can hold up to I think it's 12 cartridges and the cartridges basically just sit nicely in like that and then you can fill it all out if you like displaying your cartridges obviously if you don't display your cartridges this would be pretty much useless but it's very nice once it's actually filled up so once it's filled up with some cartridges it is pretty cool as you can see here it fits up to 12 carts and you can probably put this on your display unit if that's what you do with your um, sort of arcade handhelds and uh, cartridges it's obviously an option it does look pretty cool and obviously you can just quickly grab one um, at your leisure if you like but yeah it's a very nice touch um, and I quite like it to be honest I'm not really sure I would probably use it I, I generally just keep my carts in the case or um, in my Evercade EXP pouch but yeah it's still a really nice sort of device so at present the Evercase is just a prototype but it should appear on the store at some point soon Ok guys, that's our look at these um, peripherals for your Evercade EXP and Super Pockets. Some pretty nice stuff there, not sure it's practical for everyone, but if you are interested, um, you can look at the link in the description to the Permstar website. All the details are there. Thanks again to Permstar for sending out all these peripherals for me to review. Really appreciated. And again guys, thanks for watching our video. Catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.